Okay, so today we have ourselves the arm harness. This is going to be based, pretty much this entire series is going to be based on the late 14th century, early 15th century English style <clears throat> armor with the, uh, one of the more distinctive parts would be the spalders or shoulder guards, shoulder protection. It's a kind of a small, sleek, streamlined design. Um, some of them would be even more sleek and small than this kind of is, but... So anyway, as we go through this, I will just be kind of talking about some of the different parts, some of the different construction. As you can see right there, we have the hinge for the van brace. Um, that's part of how it is used and, and the wearer uses it. On the upper cannon there of the arm, you can see there's a couple straps, and then there's another strap for the elbow cop there. Um, and then up top, those little strings would be where you would point, quote unquote, uh, the armor to the male underneath. Of course, this would be worn with a um, arming doublet. This is basically just a padded piece of clothing. Now here you can see the inside of the shoulder, the spalder, which is that whole assembly uh, for the shoulder. And on the inside, in order to give range of motion, they would be riveted together with a leather strap. Sometimes there would also be um, sliding rivets. That's another way, but the I think the more common way is the leather strap riveted there. Gives you plenty of range of motion for the shoulder. Um, here we are seeing a uh, opened up view of the van brace. It hinges open like that. Um, so you can get your arm in there. There's a couple of straps that strap to the inside um, after you close it. And then um, when it is closed, that top portion uh, would kind of squeeze into the bottom tightly uh, in addition to the straps holding it closed um, <clears throat> so that's how that stuff works briefly here I'm gonna go over some of the terms again just so we can get a good idea of what everything is called and then, oh, I forgot to mention the Bessigue, which is that round thing, otherwise known as a rondel. That's just a little piece of metal that would hang into the gap um, that exists between the spalder and the breastplate. There would be a male voider, so a chainmail piece there uh, in that gap as well, but then they would also put that Bessigue over top. Okay, here's the terms again. We got the points or pointing. Um, it's a noun and a verb. Essentially, here we have the spalder and then the individual pieces of the spalder, of course, would be the shoulder cop and the lames, which are those overlapping pieces that move around. Upper cannon and or rear brace, as it's, as it's referred to. And of course, we've got the elbow cop there no fun to get one of those right in the face I would imagine and van brace and there you basically have it we have our high medieval late 14th early 15th century English style arm harness full plate action going on and uh, hopefully you got a better idea of how those how those pieces of armor work now and I'll see you for number four.